what's up coders welcome to one little coder in this video we're going to learn how to use a new python library called promptify to do nlp task for example if you want to do a custom ner named entity recognition using a large language model like gpt3 this library promptify is going to help you generate those kind of prompts that can help you solve nlp task using models like gpt3 currently i see a lot of examples for gpt3 here so we are going to use gpt3 to do custom ner in this particular video first of all what is a named entity recognition a named entity recognition is to recognize entities inside a particularly given text for example if you see this is a text the patient is a 93 year old female with a medical history of chronic right hip pain then when you try to do ner named entity recognition it's going to say 93 year old is age here this is the entity and this is the entity's equivalent value and then it says chronic right hip pain is a medical condition so like this getting a particular entity or kind of an attribute from a given text is what ner named entity recognition does and we are going to use open ai's gpt3 to do the same thing first you need open ai gpt3 access so all you have to do is go click create new secret and then copy the secret like when you copy it for the first time you are going to have it after that you cannot get it so make sure that you copy it to generate an api key go to your account click api keys and then click create secret new secret key and that will help you create a new secret key if you think that you have exposed your secret key to somebody all you can do like in my case i'm going to show it on a video then you can just delete it that's it you can revoke the key so the next thing is i am going to use the google collab notebook that the promptify team has put together so i'm it's not my code it's a code that they have generously shared i'm going to use the same thing so this google collab notebook will be linked in the youtube description for you to try it out yourself the first step is to install the library promptify and also install the library open ai so we need to use open ai because we need to use or leverage gpt3 api and what is what is in this library ner named entity recognition is in two lines of code with no training data required you can easily add one shot two shot or few shot few shot examples and output you are going to get as a python object which means it's easier for you to build a front end application and based on it or you know use it for other purposes like uh, set up an etl pipeline or whatever you would like to do you can also add custom examples and coming soon is that they are going to optimize the prompts in such a way that you can reduce open ai token cost because open ai charges you based on the tokens now that's it that's the selling point of uh, promptify the next thing is we need to import the required libraries and this is where you specify your open ai api key which you generated in the previous step once you have defined the open ai api key then you can call or use the open ai and create a model instance with the api key the next thing is you can use the their own class which is a prompter and then create a new instance called nlp underscore prompter right now only open ai's model is supported but they are planning to support models from other platforms like hugging face in the future that's what they have mentioned here now let's take the same example sentence that we saw the patient is a 93 year old female with a medical history of a chronic right pain osteoporosis hypertension depression and chronic atrial fibrillation admitted for evaluation and management of a severe nausea and vomiting and urinary tract infection so this is the text that we have got now what we are going to do is we are going to do a named entity recognition using nothing we are not going to use any training data so this is not custom ner so we are going to just use out of box ner by specifying the domain medical to the model that like they have got something called ner jinja so they are going to specify that you are going to use a medical domain ner and the input text is what we have given and we are not giving any custom label and once you run that thing you are going to see the result in this case you are going to get a dictionary where the entity is 93 year old and what the entity's value is an age and uh, um, yeah and you have got chronic right hip pain and that is a medical condition 
osteoporosis is a medical condition and um, nausea and vomiting it's a symptom so you have got all these details the next thing what we can do is we can add custom entities or custom tags this is exactly what people would do it in custom named entity recognition this is quite important because typical ner models that you find it on spacey's um, website or many other places would not have domain specific information for example if you have got a gaming information or gaming data and you want to build an ner for gaming data it's not very easy for you to figure out a model that can handle gaming data as well so what you might be doing or what your nlp team might be doing is that they might be building their custom ner model using the existing training data and also the label data that they have got so instead of doing that what we are going to use here is we are going to use the named entity recognition exactly same like before we have specified the model we have specified the domain we have specified the input text but along with that we are going to also specify some custom tags or entities in this case we are specifically saying that we want symptom and we want disease and once you run that you are going to see that this is been handled or flagged or categorized as a symptom which in this case is nausea and vomiting things like a depression hypertension have been classified or have been tagged as disease but what if you want to go one level above you don't want to just use with the example tags but you want to actually give an example so what you can do is you can now give an example sentence along with that example sentence you can also give the example tags for example you can say this is the sentence and you can say e disease and what is the disease name and then you can say in this case disease again breast cancer is a disease and then you can add these kind of tags and this is another thing that people usually do with custom ner named entity recognition now at this point what you can do is you have got the model specified or like the pattern specified then you have got the domain specified you have got the input text and this is where you actually say that these are the examples that i want to give so that this model or this prompt can learn from this so this is your example and this is the custom label that you are going to use and that is going to help in recognizing the disease and the new like previously it wouldn't have known it but because you have supplied that extra knowledge it has got and the same way you can give domain knowledge and all those things now the most important thing here is this how is this even happening like this looks cool everything looks fine using large language model gpt3 which is a paid solution but how does it work it works in a in a like in the background you actually don't know that it is creating prompts in such a way that the prompt can help you generate or prompt can instruct the gpt3 model to do a certain task so what they are ideally doing is that when you run this thing it is going to create a prompt with your input text and also with all the details in it that ideally tells the model like what it should do so it's going to tell like for example if you just want to print the result let me print the result and show you what is happening here if you print the result you can see that the prompt had 169 tokens and you had like completion 166 tokens totally there were 335 tokens but right now you see again abstracted information but what and underneath this thing is happening is it's actually generating a prompt in such a way that that can help you solve this nlp problem in our case we are trying to solve ner named entity recognition but they have got a lot more nlp tasks like question and answering and uh, binary classification multi class classification lot more other tasks that can be done with promptify but to quickly summarize what we have seen in this particular video is we saw a quick introduction about this library new library called promptify which helps you generate prompts or in like simple english this helps you solve nlp problems with large language model like gpt3 then we learned how to create our own open ai api key then we went to their google collab notebook and then we learned how to use this google collab notebook to do named entity recognition with no training data with one shot and few shot examples that can help us feed or create custom named entity recognition using gpt3 
I hope this tutorial was helpful to you in learning how to do custom NER, which is one of the most sought out NLP tasks in business because it has a lot of value. But if you have got any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope this was helpful to you and valuable to you in using large language models like GPT-3 for custom NER. Let me know in the comment section if you have any question. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.